What's going on everybody? This is Tejo and today we're going to be taking a second look at the Roly Blocks. Alright, I know exactly what you're thinking. This dude's a sellout. Roly sent him the Roly Blocks and now he's just going to do a positive review because they sent them to him for free. What actually happened was Roly saw the video that I posted. I reached out to them and said, hey, check out how many views this video has. I would love to review your product again with the new updates. They thought it was a good idea so they went ahead and sent me the light pad block along with the loop and live blocks so that I could try it out with the new dashboard update. The dashboard's currently in beta but it allows you to map your controller to your liking and use it with the dock. So I went ahead and did that with Ableton and what I want to show you first is me creating a beat solely with the Roly Blocks with Ableton. Stick around after the beat and I'm going to give you my take on the latest Roly Blocks update. I had a lot of time to reflect on my initial criticism and hear a lot from comments on that initial video. And one thing that I would like to point out is that with the blocks comes the quick start guide and also this little pamphlet with a quote that says, music is the universal human language. It's a language that everyone understands but very few people can speak. Let's change that. And I think this is really important to understand what they're trying to do with the Roly Blocks. They're really trying to make music production accessible to a more general audience, which a lot of people have tried in the past, and we have a lot of items that can be used for casual purposes, but we have a lot of items that can also be used for professional purposes at the same time. So I think they're having a little trouble walking that line between what is the pro quality equipment and what is the beginner quality equipment. 
one member of my community. His name is Jerry. You also know him as the voice of God on the Tatro Radio podcast. Loves his rolly blocks because he does not feel like he is a professional musician. He's a hobbyist, and he thinks that it's very easy for him to create music with the rolly blocks and the noise app. So the blocks are perfect for him because he's not going to purchase an expensive, complicated DAW if he just wants to make music as a hobby. So he can download a free app, purchase these controllers that are automatically linked with the app, there's no custom mapping involved, and he can be making music right out of the box. So I do tailor my opinion a little bit because if they are indeed trying to make it available to a general audience, I commend that. That said, I do think it's a matter of balance and Rolly seems to be catering a bit more to the side of the general audience rather than the pro audience, which is fine. They have to put their efforts somewhere. But the dashboard update does show that they do care about us pros in the home studio and that they want to give us some control. And the fact that they're listening to criticisms actively and implementing changes shows that the Rolly Blocks could really turn into something even greater. Thanks so much for checking out the vid. I think what we have here is the beginning of something that's really going to be great in the future. Rolly has obviously proved themselves in quality and we've seen what they can do with the Seaboard gear. They can bring that to the consumer market with items like this. I think we're in for something great. And the latest updates are addressing some of my concerns directly. So that tells me that they're listening to feedback from the community. So I'll have you leave a comment below for Rolly. What do you think they need to bring to the Rolly blocks? They're definitely listening. So let your voice be heard. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy live electronic music performances, tutorials, and free sound packs, click that subscribe button down below. This has been Tatro. Have a good one. P.S. If you want to see how I mapped this project out in Ableton, let me know in a comment and I'll make that video happen.